It's happened again, another expensive case of metal theft, this time hitting the city of Bellevue. But more and more victims are fighting back. In at least one case, a new security system has led to a number of arrests. King 5's Glenn Farley is live in Bellevue with how technology is coming to the rescue. The story is new at 5.30. Glenn. Well, Dennis and Gene, here along Lakemont Boulevard in South Bellevue, thieves tore out wiring that went to street lights along a several block area, about $5,000 that was stolen. But the construction industry is a big target, and now one company is fighting back. It's a picture you don't see every day, but what it shows is now all too common. This computerized security camera video photographed accused thieves roaming a Kent construction site on weekends and at night. Another video shows police canine units arriving on the scene. This is the stuff they want. This is the, you know, this is the heavy gauge, you know, copper extension cords, temporary cords that run the power for the whole job site that that's that's gold to those guys. Job site superintendent Kurt Vanderwell is fed up with theft. These big, expensive, copper-filled extension cords, a favorite target. But the bad guys are also looking for copper and brass plumbing fixtures and other metals that are hot commodities for thieves. That's enormously frustrating. Synergy Construction had had enough. They had a specialized security system installed. The system that we finally got in place out here uh, came after about $60,000 worth of loss mm -hmm. and since the system was put in place in May we're looking at one or one to two percent of that. We're looking at the system live while an incident is happening and so we're able to talk with the officers. On this poll there are three cameras including a movable one under the bubble, an infrared detection system and even a loudspeaker. We have the opportunity to talk to these guys and tell them hey we're watching you. Now the idea here, they can watch all this live on the internet, and the idea is to actually catch people in the act. So far, just on this one job site, they've made eight arrests. Live in Bellevue, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Thank you, Glenn. Kent police say the cases of those arrested and charged are now in the hands of the prosecutor.